Today, inshallah, we'll talk about kingdom protista. Really, these are important things. So, so, so we're talking about kingdom protista. We talked about animal-like protist. And we talked about amoeba, the flagellus, the ciliates, and the sporous ones. Amoebas, uh, flagellus, we talked about giardia as an example, ciliates, we talked about paramecium as an example, and as a sporozoan, plasmodium vivax, right? Now we're going to talk about plant-like protists. They're plant-like because they're photosynthetic, right? They're all going to look green. They're the first plant-like protist is euglenoids. There are a bunch of different types. Singular is euglena. So this is how it looks. It's green because it's got chloroplast. It's got a nucleus. It's got the contractile vacuole. And it has this little eye spot, which is very interesting, which is more of advanced structure to have in a living thing, an eye spot, eye spot. And it has a flagellum. So it's not an eye, right? It's not like it sees things. So an eye spot is kind of like it's a part of the living thing that's attracted to light. So it goes towards light. It directs the movement of the flagella to go towards light. That's what an eye spot is. Pretty amazing for a unicellular living thing. Look at this, okay? You see this? It's spinning around the flagella like that. Right? This is a light microscope version. And it's green on its own merit. That means it's not stained like this. It's green on its own merit. Oh, here it is. See? Look how green it is. It's quite amazing. Obviously, they don't have cell wall. When there's no light available, it goes, you know, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a carnivore now. It starts eating stuff. Okay, so they're both autotrophs and heterotrophs. So that's euglena. Then diatoms. These are cute looking things. Diatoms are unicellular photosynthetic organisms that have silica shell. Look at this. They produce most of Earth's oxygen. That by itself should catch our attention. Right? They produce most of Earth's oxygen. They are the phytoplankton. We talked about that briefly. Remember I said these are very important, the phytoplanktons. These are in the ocean. In the ocean, okay, there, there, there's abundant of it. If you were to like collect all of them, there would be like mountains of these. All right? But they're tiny things, right? So diatoms are unicellular photosynthetic things. They have a silica shell, which we like. We made paint out of it. So, and they have like, there's so many of them, it's like hard to classify them. Like every single one seems to be a different species, right? But they're not random shapes. There's a species of this, there's a species of this, there's a species of this, there's a species of this. Does that make sense? When they die, their shells accumulate on the ocean floor. So you use them in metal polishes and paints, and they make metal paints sparkle. See? You know they paint a BMW sparkle? It's a rookie shell. <laughs> Amazing, right? Here's a bunny. Now, look at this. So they have both asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is mitosis. They divide into two. So look, this is an example, okay? What happens is, the nucleus divides into two, okay? And it's like a cup, like opens up like this, into two, like this, right? Each make a cup of its own, right? So now it makes own lids, now it's a separate thing, silica shell. The, the lid is like the silica shell, you follow? So, and then they can do, so that's, they can just keep dividing like this by mitosis, right? Or they can do meiosis. That the meiosis is sexual reproduction. You make four gametes. So one of them makes four eggs. The other one makes four sperms, and they live in water. So the sperms just swim over to the uh, eggs, and they fuse to form a zygote, new organism. Yeah. So it's really amazing. Right? On the side, you know, sperm and eggs. We used to people think it's like a human phenomenon, right? No, it's like a universal phenomenon. That's how it happens in nature. Even the most basic of living things are sperm and eggs. It's like, like it's not a big deal. It's just this what they are. You understand? There's nothing special about it. How uh, genetic material is um, is diversified. Got it? Those are diatoms. They're beautiful structures. And then these are dinoflagella. They have two flagella. Dinoflagella, two flagella. There's this flagella over here, and there's this flagella over here. 
and they're di in different axes. One is in this axis, the one is in the axis, so it gives mobility in different directions. Yeah? And they have cellular cell wall, chlorophyll, and red pigment. So that's why they're plant like. They have chlorophyll. Uh, these are some examples. It's pretty amazing. It's really quite amazing. So this is a red tide from dinoflagellates. So uh, it's not paint, it's not dirty, it's like gazillions of these dinoflagellates, protozoans. In fact, you can't fish in these times, it's ban banned to fish them, uh, because the shellfish, they, 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 uh, they can eat these and these can be toxic to people. So you can't fish in these times. They have a red pigment. They have a red pigment. Yes, they're they're there all the time, and sometimes they uh, apparently in their seasons. I don't know. Maybe you can research that and tell me. I, you know, you see very frequently. You drive by streams. They, it looks like dirty stream. Like right? It's not a dirty stream. How can its stream be dirty? Right? You just know what I'm saying? It's not dirty. It's these dinoflagellates, etc. that are causing the, the the color of the stream to change. Do you understand? Red blue green algae okay there's red and there's brown and the green algae the word algae should really belong exclusively to the uh, to the protist there's one type of bacteria that's misnamed al algae remember yeah the cyanobacteria and there's a photosynthetic bacteria the blue green algae it's called the blue green algae but it's not an algae it's really a bacteria right okay that's a misnomer okay these are protists so they should be called algae. These are called red, blue, green algae. There are different colors. There's a red algae, there's a blue algae, I guess, and there's a green algae like this. Okay. Now, what, what's happening here is, see, each of these is a one living thing. But they form colonies. They stick together and they make colonies like that. So if you look at this Volvox colony, this is green algae. This is a colony. If you look at, it, uh, if you look at them under the microscope, you'll see this. If you examine this, higher up magnification e they are each like this that's one 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 and they like they do like a spider-man mesh to keep them together do you understand make a colony like this strength in numbers do you understand that's a volvox colony. see starts like this the buddy buddy like this the buddy buddy like this and they make colonies like that if you look closely you can see how they are like okay so we're talking about kingdom protista there are three types of protists, animal-like protists, plant-like protists, and finally, the fungus. All of these are photosynthetic, all of them. They all do photosynthesis, like euglena does photosynthesis, diatoms, the most important of the photosynthesis, right? Diatoms. They make most of the oxygen on the planet. How come we don't know about it? Like, they should be like posters, diatoms, diatoms, coming near you. <laughs> but they don't know, they make most of the oxygen on the planet. Finally, fungus-like protists. This is the pictures. Slime moles, okay? And th these are moles. You see this in your backyard. It's called dog vomit, all right? In the demon's term, but it's not dog vomit. It's these protozoans, like these guys. Because they move, see? I told you, fungus don't move. These guys move, yeah? This is, this is like, you know, uh, time lapse. Yeah. No, it's moving. It's a good question. It's moving. They actually move like that. Very slowly. Each individually is like an amoeba like this. When food is plenty, they're all by themselves. Okay? When their flu food is harder to get, they come into a feeding stage. And that's what you see as a dog vomit. Okay? It's easier to gather food for them this way. And then, uh, and, and that's also their like dead dead trap and they mature like this and they give this tiny buzz and they make a lot of little tiny sporangiums and they make spores and they make amoebas and they go like this like that it's part of their life cycle like this okay. they they come together as little there's little yellow plaques and then they come together to make one big big yellow plaque like this see like that there are like millions of them in there as a colony so this guy see it's moving and then at this stage, when they come together, they make little tiny spores like this. So 
they're fungus like in a way because here they make spores. Making spores is a very fungusy quality, okay? They make then uh, water mold and, and uh, downy mildew, you see these infections, what seem like infections on plants like this, is actually this fungus like protist eating them up, okay? So this was our survey of the protist, the kingdom animal like protist, animal like protist because they infect humans, the amoebas, the flagellates, and ciliates, and the sporozoans, the plasmodium. Uh, species, Plasmodium vivax and Plasmodium falciparum, etc. And then the plant like protists, uh, Euglena diatops, Dinoflagellus, and red blue algae, and fungus like protists, like the slime mold that we talked about. Next time we meet, we're going to talk about the fun guys, inshallah. Until then, as salatu wa salam, rasulullah, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, as salamu alaykum.